Hi, my name is Sean. I'm a pin setter mechanic. I'm certified to work on Brunswick A, A2 and Jetback pin setters. Uh, today we're going to be doing something that I uh, was brought to my attention by one of my coworkers who uh, actually follow this channel. Um, there is a extreme lack of of service calls, and when I say service calls, I mean like respots, out of range, blackouts, 180s, you know, stuff on clearing uh, stops or, you know, this, you know, stuff like that. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be starting that series on uh, calls to service. And the first one we're going to do is respots. Uh, respots are very um, a lot of people do them wrong is is what I have gotten with and I've, I've really really tried with uh, with new with new pin chasers who have come in I've really really tried to put in them the fastest way possible to do it and a lot of them take it and then some of them just don't listen at all, which I get, you know, some people don't want to listen to me. I'm a very uneventful person. <laughs> so anywho, um, we're just going to get started right away. The first thing I'm going to, we're going to go through though, is we're going to go through how to switch your pin setter from going to second ball to first ball, because that is a very important thing. Whenever you come up to do a respot, it's going to be in, fir in uh, first ball. If it's in second ball, it is not a respot. It is called an add, which will also be another video that I do. But first thing we're gonna look up. So if you remember your first second ball micro switch, okay, you have the the flag here. Yours is gonna probably look different than mine because. I have that kit that I made on here. It's probably gonna be smaller, but just enough to contact this micro switch. The easiest way to tell if your machine is on first or second ball is a few different ways, as long as everything is in adjustment correct. First is going to be at your micro switch. You're gonna see that there is no gap between the flag and the micro switch. That's telling me that it is on first ball. Next thing, would be right here in the detector. You have your selector and your cam follower, and there is no gap between the selector and the cam follower. So that's another thing. Now, the next thing would be as long as your deck hook is adjusted correctly, would be your deck hook. <clears throat> there is a gap between the pin and the deck hook now. That is the way to tell if your ball, if your machine is on first ball. The other thing obviously would be to turn on the machine and look at your ball lights uh, on the masking unit. But we're going based in strictly on the pin setter itself. So that is your first ball. That's how you get it to first ball is by moving this flag back. Now to get it to second ball. I have, I don't know exactly what these are called, but we have these on every single machine because we had some uh, old scoring system or whatever. There was a box here, these hooked onto it, energized, pulled it forward in the second ball. We don't have those boxes anymore, but these are still very, very nifty to switch it to second ball, so I keep them around. If you, But all that it's doing is it's wrapping around that selector and you're just gonna pull it forward. Now it's on second ball. As you see, there is a gap here between the micro switch. There's a gap here between the selector and the, and the uh, follower. And there is no gap between the pin on the deck support and your deck holding hook. So when you get to a respot, now that we have how to switch it between first and second ball, when you come up to a respot, the machine's gonna be on, on first ball. 
first thing you're going to do, very, very first thing, especially when you are first learning how to do respots, is locking the pin gate. That will make your life so much easier. So, the machine's gonna be on, you're gonna lock your pin gate. Next thing you're gonna do is you are going to go put it on second ball. Then you will cycle it. Okay. The next thing you're gonna do is the same exact thing. Second ball, cycle. Okay, the machine, obviously, you know, you keep the machine on, but to tell you guys what's happening, okay, in order to do a respot, you need to get the machine to 180. The only way you can get it to 180 is to force the machine to wait for pins. So when you did that first ball cycle, that set the rack that was in the deck assembly already. Okay, well, that's good and well but we don't need those 10 pins on the deck. So we need to do second ball cycle again to get it to this point, 180. <coughs> Sorry. At this point, that's when you can put pins into the deck assembly. Now remember, everything is reverse for us than it is for the bowler. Okay? So, if the say the bowler needs a 10, you're gonna put it in the 10 pin spot. <clears throat> when you are on the machine, 10 is going to be on the left, seven is gonna be on the right, vice versa for the bowler. Okay. So then at this point, you have the you have the pin in there that needs to be respotted. It's at 180. But at the same time, you don't want to start the flow of the pins again into the turret because then you're gonna get a double pin and you're only, and then you're gonna get all the pins back on there. So, I don't, <laughs> correct me if you want, but this link here that's connected to all of your uh, linkage and your uh, shaft, it's for the long link and you know deck signal and everything else like that. I just call it 180 lever because this lever kicks it out of a 180. So I'm gonna kick it as the machine is off, but if you kick it when the machine's on, make sure that when you kick it forward, you move your hand, because then everything starts moving again. So we're just gonna pull it forward. That engages, that engages the clutch, and that'll start the gearbox again, okay? So I'm gonna turn it back on and it's gonna continue to do its thing. <laughs> now, that 10 pin is on the deck, but we are still not done. So, remember this is a respot because their spare got swept. Spares happen on second ball. So, after you set the pin onto the deck, you're gonna go ahead, put it on second ball again, and start the flow of pins. Because if you do not start the flow of pins, you will get a call for a 180, because there's nothing to set. Okay, so that's step by step on how to do a respot. Now, I know some people when it gets choppy, can't really understand. So I'm gonna show you this. I'm gonna show you a respot full speed. So that way, hopefully, everything kind of sinks in how it should, okay?
And that's it. Respots are super, super simple, but people tend to mess them up. It's too late now.